Today I'm going to show you how to clean your balls. What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today to show you the best way to clean your ball if it's covered in turf stains. If you guys do end up enjoying the video and perhaps want to see more tutorials on the channel, don't forget to support this one with a like. And if you're new here watching for the first time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. This is a high vis Nike Ortom 4 match ball. It's supposed to look like this, but after about three months of using it exclusively on artificial grass, it now looks like this. The reason why this happens is because of all the little black pellets scattered throughout an artificial grass playing surface. Over time, the rubber tends to stick to the ball and you end up with this darkened, almost black color. This is a high vis yellow variation, so it looks a little bit brighter than a white ball would look. But as you can see, it is very, very dirty and we're going to do our best to try and clean it off. Or at least I'm going to show you how I would personally go about cleaning this without damaging the ball and still making it look as close to new as possible. Let's do it. First things first, you're gonna head over to the bathroom because we're gonna need the toilet. What you're gonna do is just take the toilet seat, lift it up all the way, and then just drop the ball right in. Okay, so we're in the bathroom now and you're gonna need a couple different things. First thing being a sink with running water. The second thing you're gonna need is a towel or a cloth, whatever you can get your hands on, but a larger towel definitely makes things easier. And then the third thing that you don't necessarily need, but everyone's gonna have this on hand, is some kind of soap. Hand soap works, I'm using tropical coconut. So now that we have all our supplies, we're ready to get started. And the first step should be fairly obvious. Get the ball wet and then wipe it down with the towel. You can use warm water, hot water, cold water, whatever you like, it doesn't really matter. Just get the ball nice and wet and then start wiping it down. Crap. If the ball is too big to fit in the sink, just wet the towel and then wipe it down from there. So you can see already with minimal effort, the ball is significantly cleaner. Just take your time. It's gonna take a little while to get all the way around the ball. Just scrub it down as best you can. So I've scrubbed this ball down for about five minutes now and you can see it's definitely a lot less black. There's more yellow, there's more pink, there's more orange. You can see the purple now a lot more clearly, but it's still covered in all kinds of black marks, some of which are scuffs and some of which are stains. How can you remove these? Well, I have the secret and it's in this drawer. This is called the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. How does it work? It's magic. It says it in the name. I actually don't know. Basically, this is just a sponge, but it's a magical sponge in that it does actually do a really good job of removing scuffs and stains on the surface of soccer cleats, or in this particular instance, a ball. Now keep in mind that while it feels very, very smooth to the touch, it's actually relatively rough in terms of how aggressive it is in cleaning. That's why it's so good at removing scuffs. So if you're gonna use this on a ball or on your shoes, just make sure you're very, very gentle because you can actually damage the surface finish if you scrub away too hard because of how aggressively it actually takes away whatever is on the surface of what you're scrubbing. So you can see, and I'm gonna clean this little panel. I got the magic eraser a little bit wet. I'm just gonna lightly start scrubbing it and hopefully, like magic, maybe not, it's slowly cleaning it off. So you can see that it definitely removed more of the black turf marks on the ball, but unfortunately there are still stains and still scuffs that are gonna be next to impossible to remove, especially when it comes to an official match ball like I have here with the Nike Ortom 4. The reason being that a lot of these high-end match balls, the Adidas ones especially, they have a heavier texturing, it gets in all layers of the texture itself. So the surface layer, the under layer, some parts are raised higher, some parts are raised lower. So you're not just cleaning a smooth surface, you're cleaning all these multiple different layers and heights of material that makes it, again, next to impossible to fully clean it back to how it was before. So if you have a match ball and you use it on artificial grass, just be aware that once you start using it, it's pretty much never gonna look the same again. Anyways, I'm gonna try my best to clean off the rest of this ball using this magic eraser and I'll get back to you when I'm done. I'm 
just gonna wipe it down one more time with the towel and I'm pretty much done. And here is the final product. You can see it's a lot brighter. It's definitely not perfectly clean, but it now looks like a high-vis Ortom 4 rather than a high-vis Ortom 4 covered in what looked like black paint almost. Uh, definitely a lot better than it was before. So in total, that took me about 10 minutes to clean this one ball. If you had a bunch of balls that were as dirty as this one was, then obviously it would take you a little bit longer. And if I spent more time on this one ball, I definitely could get it a little bit cleaner. But you can see up close, a ball, especially on artificial grass, especially if it's a match ball with all kinds of micro texturing like this one has, it's gonna pick up little scuffs and scratches that are in multiple layers of texturing that are gonna be next to impossible to remove. So even if you spent half an hour trying to clean the ball, it would probably end up being a little bit cleaner than this is right now, but it'll never be perfect again like it was from when it was brand new. So again, just be aware if you plan on using your official match ball on artificial grass, it's going to get scuffs, it's going to get dirty, and it's gonna be permanently stained with all kinds of little black marks. If you're using the ball exclusively on natural grass, it's still gonna pick up stains from grass as well as little scuffs and marks. Grass stains, however, are a lot easier to clean off than turf stains, and I would say for the most part, especially long term, the ball itself is going to look a lot better if you regularly clean it versus using it exclusively on artificial grass. Also be aware that if you are using your match ball on artificial grass, because of how abrasive the surface is, it does have a tendency of actually rubbing the colors and graphics off the ball. Now to be fair, this Ortom 4 has actually fared pretty well. I'm kind of surprised, but a lot of Adidas match balls especially, I've experienced this myself and I've noticed a lot of other match balls that I've seen that get used on artificial grass regularly, the graphics almost wear off completely. So if that's not something that you want to happen, probably not a great idea to use your match ball on artificial grass. Obviously that's not gonna affect the performance of the ball, but it definitely does impact the way that it looks. Anyways guys, that is it for me in this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. As always, if you have any questions at all, leave them down below in the comments and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. And if you have any suggestions for other tutorials you'd like to see on the channel, leave those down below in the comment section and I'll do my best to make those happen as soon as possible. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that guys, hope you enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.